go over the HVT, which is our 308 quick disconnect suppressor. Uh, there's two versions. There's a threaded version and then our quick detach. Quick detach is a bi-lock system. You push in, twist, and it will disconnect. There's somewhat of a plunger spring system inside of this mount that allows it to, uh, when it's, it'll go on one way. You have two bi-locks, two different sizes. It goes on one way, push it in, twist it, and it'll push the... It'll push the opposite force against it to keep the suppressor on there. So even if you're doing full auto fire, it'll it'll stay on. It can't come loose. Uh, this suppressor is rated up to 300 wind mag, so you can actually shoot this uh, for 308, 300 wind mag uh, instead of having to go out and buy different suppressors for two different weapons and paying two different tax stamps. But you could shoot a 308 can uh, on a 556. Is what what a lot of people do. They'll use the 308 cans instead of having to pay two different tax stamps for two different suppressors, and they'll run it. It's kind of uh, it'll also work for 68, so it's kind of your your all-purpose suppressor. Um, the newest version of our 308 suppressor is our threaded Sandstorm, which is a titanium suppressor. Uh, these are all actually very well used suppressors, so uh, you see a little bit of dirt and powder and everything on there, but. The uh, titanium suppressor right now is the lightest 308 suppressor on the market. It's just over 13 ounces. So you have very little uh, interruption of your barrel whip and harmonics on the barrel because of how light the suppressor is. Um, once again, you can use it on a 5.56 rifle as well. 5.56 uh, suppressors, we have three of them. We've got our M402, which is our basic standard thread-on suppressor. It's kind of our ec economic version. Uh, that allows the customer to have a really good suppressor for a for pretty low price, um, but it's only available in a thread-on version. We've got the G5, we've got the M402, and we've got the Halo. Uh, the difference between the three is we've got a thread-on version, which is our smaller, more economic suppressor, uh, basically for the guy who wants to run this on a, on a 22 rimfire rifle uh, and his AR-15. This is perfect suppressor for that retails five hundred dollars so it's very affordable suppressor uh, the g5 is is very similar to the hvt in the fact that it's the quick disconnect so we've got our bylock system here um, it's a little bit longer a little bit heavier suppressor because of the female manning solution but it offers you the, the availability to to disconnect uh, onto different suppressors uh, or, or excuse me onto different rifles and it's just a you know, if you want to store it, it's a lot easier method of doing that. Inside vehicles and everything, it works out really good. The Halo suppressor was made for the U.S. military to where they could not take off their A2 flash hider and replace it with another uh, hider or suppressor. So this enabled us to leave the A2 flash hider on and for them to be able to mount that suppressor on there. It's a, it's a solid system. Um, but it's mainly been in use with with the military. Um, pistol suppressors are all they're all thread on suppressors. Uh, everything from 22 to 45 ACP. Uh, this is a 40 caliber suppressor right here, our black side. It. Uh, let me see what else I'm going to go to. Okay. Go to the Outback. Uh, the Outback is one of our best selling suppressors. We, uh, we utilize these on the, the Sig Mosquitoes and the, the Walters. That's probably the two most popular systems that it goes on. But you can also put it on your Ruger 1022s. Uh, it's just a very universal suppressor. Uh, very, very low cost. So. Uh, this is our 338 Lapua suppressor for the PSR contract with the military, the precision uh, sniper rifle. This system is uh, a very lightweight system. We also have a titanium version, but this version right here is our steel. It only adds six inches of barrel length to the suppressor, so it actually will slide slide back over the mount and enable you to have a 12-inch suppressor that only adds six inches uh, onto the overall length. So the uh, you know the the overall barrel length and everything isn't isn't maxed out with the 12 inches. And it's a very quiet suppressor. You, it's hearing safe by OSHA standards. So it's, this is the largest suppressor that we currently make, so everything. And this one's the smallest? 
Uh, no, well, we make a sep yeah, that's one of the smallest. We make a, a suppressor for the 17 HMR as well. So everything from 17 HMR all the way up to 338 Lapua. And will your phone load up? My daughter. They're all made in the U.S. Obviously. Yes. Yeah, all of them are made in the U.S. Cool. All right. So what's the, what about cleaning or maintaining the can? Care and maintenance on this on our suppressors is we don't. Uh, require you to clean them. We don't recommend that you clean them. Uh, with the exception of our Outback 2s, the 22 suppressors, you can actually use, uh, we recommend Gunzilla, which is a, an all-natural cleaning and lubrication product that takes off, uh, it lets a lot of the lead and powder uh, so that it doesn't build up build up inside and mean but that's not taking it apart, that's just soaking it right, in the solution? Yeah, you can just spray it in there. Um, the rest of the suppressors, we just treat them like a car muffler. You wouldn't treat, you wouldn't clean your car muffler, so we just, uh, you can shake them out a little bit if you want. But the, the reason you don't want to clean them out too much is, uh, especially anything like a break-free plot product that does not dissipate real fast, it'll allow more buildup inside with dust, dirt, carbon, fouling, everything else. So we recommend just... Just do not clean them. Um, a little bit of lubrication on the mount springs, uh, grease every once in a while, and that's that's it. How about when they get discolored? Do people spray them or? Yeah, you can spray paint them. Uh, we have some spray painting suppressors, but obviously that you know the the heat build up and it's everything, gonna it it's going to cook it off eventually. We do different colors, um, so we do try to you know leave that out as an option. You know this this suppressor here. The uh, you know the coloration and everything on it it, it actually makes it a pretty decent camouflage so sure. it's not did that one start out black or tan no this one was like a uh, like a foliage green oh okay or dark earth I guess is what it was um, so they will they will color and, and everything but yeah a lot of guys will spray paint their suppressor especially if it's to a dedicated rifle you know the only problem with spray painting your your suppressor that's tan, and <laughs> once it goes on a black gun, it doesn't look all that great. But what about if a can gets damaged? Uh, the, what Gemtech does is we'll we hydraulically wrench the baffle into the body or the baffle stack into the body. So if you do have a catastrophic baffle strike, um, we can actually unwrench the baffle and actually replace the baffle stack inside because the um, law says that you have to keep the correct outside intact so some other suppressor companies will actually weld the front they'll weld the body to the tip so when you have a cat if you have a catastrophic baffle strike um you're you have to throw your suppressor away it's absolutely new tax stamp to replace it new tax nothing, stamp, you nothing you can do um and a bad baffle strike can be just bad ammo it doesn't mean that your mount's loose or the suppressor's bad or the rifle's bad just you know bad ammunition can can make that strike and then you're you're out however much money plus another tax stamp. So, so that can make a big difference if you don't have a department absolutely. or a unit paying for it. Absolutely. Okay. We're talking about as one of the unique features with the G5 is that it's one of the few suppressors that you can take off in most instances without uh, a glove or tools. So if I had a, a hot suppressor that I needed to take off because of the the heat signature interrupting my optical sight, I could put my put it between my legs, you know, in a, in a, between my boots in a quick manner, push down, turn it, and take the suppressor off without having to utilize tools. So it's just a field expedient way of taking your suppressor off.